Welcome to the grand reveal of our stunning kitchen, butler pantry, and multiple bathroom remodel in Alamo Heights. Our client moved into San Antonio just a few years ago and they were finally ready to make this house their home and update it to their style preferences, their finishes, and also change the layout tremendously to make it what they really needed out of the house. I remember having the opportunity to see the house the way it was before we started. And although it was a sizable kitchen, it's nothing like it is now you would think, oh, well, there's plenty of room in a kitchen of that size. But the traffic flow was one issue. One of the other issues that I noticed right away is that all of the kitchen was, again, fairly large. It stopped about right here, and there was a direct line of sight from the living room into the guest bathroom, the one that everyone used. So if we could change that, if we could do something architecturally, we knew we could solve multiple problems. Well, the client was very willing to explore those. And we actually were able to delete or remove that bathroom because, like Dad said, the primary suite was right behind us in the what's now the butler's pantry. It actually had a his and her bathroom and closet situation that they never really used. So we used one of the bathrooms and turned it into what's now the guest powder bathroom. And then we gave them a much more practical bathroom for what they needed and it turned out to be perfect and the flow in the house is so much better now. So speaking of architectural elements of this project, we definitely did not want any support showing when we opened up these walls and made this a, a much bigger room. This large island with no visible support anywhere is a challenge in any project to open up walls, take them out, support the beams, make it invisible, put it all up as you see. We put it all right there. But it was even greater challenge than this one because of all of the weight that was pushing down on this from a second floor, multiple roof lines, and heavy stone as well. So this took very, very large uh, jacks and teams jacking up this house. We even had to re-support the floor because of the weight that was being stressed on on both ends. Didn't it actually take four 20-ton jacks? Yeah, yeah four 20-ton <laughs> jacks with special boots to be able to not crush everything that was going up. So, mm -hmm. so this was probably the heaviest load we've ever lifted in a residential remodeling project. And this space gave us the enough space to design what's called a curated kitchen. And that means that you see the beauty of the kitchen before you see the functional aspects of it. And so since we have so much space, we're able to give beautiful features that maybe aren't so functional, like the floating shelves. They're for styling and displaying different pieces. And we also have a stucco vent hood cover that just kind of disappears. It's just gorgeous, clean lines. Another beautiful aspect is this gorgeous 10 foot island that we made with one slab. So there's no seams and it flows perfectly. It's beautiful. And we use that same piece of slab or the same type of slab to go right up into the vent hood wall and the backsplash and also the countertop. Since this space is such a large space, that's something that we had to think about was what other rooms is this connected to? It's also connected to a very functional and large butler's pantry and a dining room. So we needed to choose elements that could work in all spaces without distracting or being too loud in the other areas. So we chose a tile for the backsplash, the, the side backsplashes that has a beautiful five by five tile that has some texture and movement and some color variation that is still very subtle and it doesn't detract from this stunning range wall that that's what we wanted to be the focal point. So we, we carried that backsplash into the butler's pantry and used it there as well and it just looks great. And we also used that tile as the inspiration to choose the light fixture in the dining room. That tile with the variation in shimmer, the light fixture also has little squares that have that same variation and the 
the shimmer that allows the light to go through. It also has the gold accents that we used for the light fixtures in the rest of the kitchen and the hardware. So it all flowed together and choosing these perfect pieces for each area made it to where all three rooms flowed perfectly and designed perfectly together. And you can tell from the moment you walk into the kitchen, actually the moment that you walk through the front door, you can see that this whole section of the home was designed and styled architecturally and interior design wise to a T. Let's talk a little bit about the architecture of the bathroom. The, the primary bathroom, as we said, was separated to his and hers. That was not what they wanted. We needed the space for other things, obviously a butler pantry. We wanted to create a guest bathroom on this side that would be accessed easier and a little more subtly than being in the living area. But what we're, we had to do then is basically save space in the new primary bathroom. And folks who've seen it have said, did you expand it? Mm -hmm. Someone who had, who had sold them the home and actually seen it afterwards, did you make this larger? And it's no, we did not. It is actually just a better use of space. So to me, that started with making a wet area. The wet area was able to have less divisions between it, between the soaking tub and the shower. Mm -hmm. And that to me was the start of being able to make that bathroom feel larger. Another thing that we did to make it feel larger was we incorporated the height. So everything is tall in this bathroom because they have very large, over 10 foot ceilings. And so one of the things that we did was we took the backsplash up to be an oversized backsplash and we had added wall mounted faucets. So the countertop stayed really clean and smooth, but it added some height. We added large medicine cabinets that mirrored medicine cabinets to make it feel even taller, but also everything has a double use. There's enough space for two people to live and to move around in the bathroom and function properly when it used to just be a one person bathroom. And then we also still made it to feel like a spa. So we added a rain head shower and they have a, like you said, a gorgeous soaking tub, but we added a little ledge so that way she could put her candles or a nice glass of wine and really have a beautiful zen area. It is. And it looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. To complement the zen feel, we chose to do warm wood cabinets to make it look really natural and almost feel like it was part of the outside spa experience. So every detail, even in the bathroom, was perfectly selected and curated to give them that feel but still have the right function for now needing to have two people. Well, I think it was a real success. And in talking to the client about the whole experience, after everything settles down, you know, one of the things she said she really appreciated was the flexibility and the small changes that she wanted to make. I'm proud of the fact that we remain flexible to make those minor adjustments for clients. When I walked into the kitchen yesterday, I was almost moved to tears because I was blown away with how it looked once it all came together. And it reminded me of how much all the little details matter. And once they got installed, like the hardware and the shiplap on the island, that nothing was left without careful, special attention. And it makes a huge difference when you're doing a kitchen or any project. I was so thankful that the client trusted my vision and that we had a great vision together for the kitchen. And I'm extremely proud of how it came out. I'm very, very proud of this kitchen and all the other ones that we're working on right now as well. <laughs>